Sakura in the thing because she's a singer. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, have fun sleeping tonight. Oh. She was about to. Go, 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 go! And that, by the way, is the Midwest. Great. <laughs> That's exactly what I want to hear. Which isn't to say it's only halfway through. There's. I think there's only like two or three more screens before the last one. She's left in this area. Which is. Actually, the, like, there were. The worm one I actually completely forgot about until we got into this area, so that wasn't even the boss that I was referring to earlier when I said oh, let I'm gonna it heal. Me, so. I don't think I can actually. I can see how one. much. Like, before that was like. That much PE was. wasn't even enough to perform that much. So, anyway, I was gonna say, I think we're now on. Now on to the last area. Oh, um, yeah. Um, one oh, screen. Oh, I don't want to kill the horse. Oh, you don't. You don't. Oh, your genes are stronger than I thought. Thanks, Levi's. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Come here, come. My Go for a ride. Ha, ha, ha. You don't have a choice in the matter. <clears throat> I mean, this is kind of cool in a sort of fucked up way. I mean, oh, oh no, the horse. Yeah, but he's still going. Oh, the horse. Yeah. She's just, what, floating backwards really, really, really fast? Or her, her personal gravity is kept, in, her, her inertia is kept in check with the thing? Anyway, why, why be on the side of, why be on the human side? This is your boss arena. <laughs> why not? I'm human. Why are you going with them and not me? So yeah, fight a boss that has like, what? Very like direct attack up. Do you remember her move list before? Like her lasers. Oh god! Yeah. Oh god! Fight a boss with that kind of a move list in this confined space. And do ten HP at a time. Oh, yeah. this isn't gonna be fair. Actually, does she do those moves, or am I just hyping the situation? Oh, oh yeah, god! She... Oh no, my god! In fairness, that gave you a warning. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think she actually does the. Laser thing, but yeah, try not to get touched that way. But as you see, if you stay near one edge, and she tries to attack you when you move away, and then. Oh, I'm gonna have to heal. Yeah, heal. Heal? And it's gonna be a heal too! Yeah. Also, you've got barrier now as well. Barrier. I'd heal first though. Yeah. You only use barrier when you've got, like, health in check. Wow. So just dodge. Again, like, Fuck. run away. <laughs> Fucking you, slut! Small one. Yeah. No bar yeah, barrier you can still do, so what's, what's that on? Hey, that's actually not very much, not very bad. So yeah, use that. Although. Yeah, remember, move away from it. There you go, that's one. <laughs> yeah, stuff a couple of, uh, of caps into her ass. Maybe. Ah, there you go, you've won. Oh, okay. Is that it? It's not a hugely thrilling boss no. battle. It's just cool that we're fighting on the back of a carriage being pulled by a flaming horse <laughs> in the middle of Central Park. It's it's an interesting idea. Like you don't know, your mitochondria will. That's why you were drawn to the opera. That and you were going to kill people. Uh, the opera thing. Oh, the opera, yeah, sorry. That's actually not true, I don't think, because I'm pretty sure mitochondria can't be like, hey, check out this newspaper article. See that little thing up there that says it's an opera? You totally want to go to that. Cause, and you want to let a douchebag take you. Because, I mean, how would mitochondria even begin to have any idea as to any of that stuff even happening? 
there, there. We join forces and all the other mitochondria in the world will... Stop! Yes, that's it. That's precisely what I said that before. Complete opposite of that. Yeah, they even went so far as to texture burned horse flesh. Not a model of me. No, they didn't. Know. I just the same thing. Long, long day. High speed carriage chases. Notice Eve didn't spin with it. She just glided gracefully to your side as if to say, Ah. You are trapped by gravity, and I'm bullshitting my way through the air. <laughs> How are you flying, mitochondria? Don't think so. Mitochondria can't fly because of your special magic powers. Bitch. Are those... Did that... Did the lightning bear float? Did the monkey float? Did the snake float? The only things that could float were the birds. Oh yeah, oh yeah, answer me! Sorry for the bangers there, not gonna lie. Daddy! Right, we saw his eyes melt. No, we didn't. We saw some random dude's eyes melt. I thought I was a kid. I it was, was a random kid. dude. Ben, weren't you going to the concert? I came here with Mom, but she she was all weird. Basically, um, obviously, did you not think it was weird that there was an entire group of people just sat there staring at her? Mm. She hypnotized everyone. Mm. <clears throat> Which is why there was no cops in the car, it was just abandoned there. The only people who died were the people who were trying to resist and got burned, basically. That's what that was all about. I came with Mum, but yeah. Who cares about the mum and child? So that's why you came to get me. That's why I went to the stage, because you freaked out. So, this is a little bit weak. Because basically... I mean, we, we know Ben went there because he was like, Dad, we need to go to the concert and stuff. Not because... Some shit was going down. Because why would he have gone back to the area? Wouldn't he have just stayed? So yeah, that's kind of a retroactive attempt at making it make a bit more sense. But but yeah, so Lorraine's dead. Oh, that was that's a that's a good thing. As is everyone who was in that yeah. in that concert area. <laughs> and um, yeah, now there's a great big pile of orange goo. For now, it's able to move. Of course, it's able to move. Yeah. Yeah. Make more people around in the city for Christmas. Did you see the beginning part of this? Or are we in the back? Of the yeah, I did. What do we do, sir? We will stay in the system you try to leave. Nano machine, son. So what are your thoughts on Metal Gear Rising Revengeance? I know this is not the time. The one with Raiden that's more of a hack and slash than yes. a Metal Gear Solid game. I don't like it. Purely because it's a Metal Gear Solid game that's hack and slash. Yeah, that sounds like a very... It's like Resident Evil 6 being part of a survival horror series and not being a survival horror. Just an over-the-shoulder shooter that just happens to involve characters and creatures from the Resident Evil world. Sure, that's that. It's still zombie-esque. Yeah, no zombies, eh? There's still elements of survival horror, yeah. mostly because there's scarce ammo. No, there's not. Ammo falls from people. <laughs> I prefer four was good. Four is good, but what makes four better than six? The storyline. See, now that is a, is a reason. Uh, but again, like this is a a philosophical. Still not even philosophical. This is a mechanical talk that we'll get to later later on. Um, yes, objectively, 4 is a better game than 6. No, neither of them are survival horrors. Yet, 4 is welcomed with open arms into the canon of the Resident Evil franchise, whereas 6 is derided and hated by everyone. And I still haven't played 6, so I can't really weigh in on that one. Um, but... Who does that a lot, Brandon? What? I just shakes him. Yeah, but he's also very much on Aya's side. Yeah. Anyway, I will um I will say this for now because I'm gonna hold off on my my revengeance. Because there is one, don't worry. There is one. Revengeance is an amazing game. And the Metal Gear franchise is lucky to have it as a part of it. 
that's partially my opinion. It's also objectively true. I have many points of evidence to back that up, which I will share with you at some point. Maybe on camera, maybe off camera, who knows? We're not off camera. You know what I mean. Yeah. But... Where'd she go? She's dead. Oh, no, wait, there's also my Aya. Never mind. Careful, you look, a look after the kid, will ya? Will ya? Will ya him? I don't know what that means. Anyway, sorry. Um, so yeah. I know I'll, I'll probably tell you more about that later, but um, the vengeance is... I can't even remember why I started talking about the vengeance again. Neither do I. It was completely off topic. Everything is off topic. Everything, Everything off topic. is awesome. Vengeance is good. Why is there only one dog now? There was only one dog last time, but the other yeah. was in the cage when I was in school. I know there was two when we first came in here. Oh my god, the second time. Hey, we got a visitor. Check out Shiva. Shiva. See, this is Shiva. Very funny. Doggo. Doggo is happy. Doggo is protected. I now have a new mission like to make sure that she survives. It's oh. a good mission. I'm, I'm on board with this. Ooh. You seen that? Um, fuck, cop just nearly got pied the fuck down. Yeah, well, it's in America, not New York. Have you seen that picture? It's uh, someone's made an actual sign like the sign from Undertale. The uh, Grazer Dog's house. No. <laughs> the one that says, Aware of dog, please pet dog. I, I found it on Facebook earlier and someone's given it a little um, a caption of, Did that dog write this? <laughs> yes, that's the point. Aware of dog, please pet dog. Cop ah. A, they can't even bother to tell him. <sighs> so this is uh, someone who's been mentioned before. I don't even find a cat on this street. I told you, I've already got the, the police about it. Do I, oh. do I, do I, do I, do I go with the, uh... Well, considering in you fairness, did the voice that you didn't want to do for Daniel. Now, now, let's be fair. They point out repeatedly that this guy has terrible English. So he would sound like this. Okay? I'm not doing it because I'm racist. I'm doing it because they outright say this guy's English is terrible. And this is how he would sound. He's even called Japanese man. I told you. I've already contacted the police about his mother. What? Uh, um, I'm not getting anywhere with my English. So even he points out that he's bad. Hey, you Chinese? No, I I'm Japanese. Nanda Nonhi Des. Oh God. Nanda Nihonji Desu. Don't you know any <laughs> possible? No. Why would I know? Any? I, I know Konnichiwa. Okay. Sayonara. Suddenly I've, I've, I've lost it. Not this car. Yes. So basically, you are. I have no idea how I've managed to just. I just reverse engineered that the same way that I do Latin, but he just asked, oh, are you Japanese? Toto Dakane, Dara Desuka? I don't know. I, I apologize. I there are any. Maeda. They're Japanese. There are. I apologize if there are any Japanese speaking people. Watching this? I have to go with the classic Nani. Hey, Japanese man. Uh, uh. So, yeah. Calm down. Take it easy, man. It's bad for your heart. Uh, I'm, not, I'm getting. I'm, I'm hot. Help. Oh, God. Has he got the microphone as well? And has he got the airball? He's got the microphone. Oh, all right. Like, <laughs> yeah, all right. Okay. That's... From where I was sat just now, the two exclamation points were over his shoe. In such a way as it made it look like a U. It made it look like he said, I'm hot. I'm too hot. <laughs> Bye. Japan man. Good away. luck with the burning. Oh no. Being a human combustion, I believe that's correct. Well, he's claiming he can't really speak English very well, yet he's perfectly fine with the place, but being a human combustion. Yeah. Lockers. Terrifying, terrifying lockers. Oh, holy shit, that's bright. Yeah, a little bit on the uncomfortable side for the eyes. What was the time, anyway? Wait. Hmm? Just 
to make sure I saw that properly. Huh, that looks great, apparently. In a good stint. Yeah, I told you this this um this day was longer than the first. I think this oh. is the end now. I think this is the last part of this day. I feel that we're we're halt, we're reaching a natural stopping point. I've been trying so hard for like the last half hour to avoid bringing <laughs> bringing attention to this fact. Damn it! Like I, I very nearly actually gave it away at one point. But yeah. Okay. Well, the magic's broken, ladies and gentlemen. We're looking at time to finish the episode at some point. Well, the recording session. I'm. I mean, I was going to say the next save point. I was going to say the save point before we can fight with Evie. Ooh, but, box. Yeah, there's a box there. I think there's a. There's a lot of talking going on now, so. Um, So yeah, of course. At this point, like story-wise, let's get this out there. Um, I was just sort of left in Central Park in the back of a rickety carriage. So, and of course, at the same time, cops were discussing the evacuation of uh, of New York, and Maeda, Japanese tourist, was trying to get through the blockade. He wound up getting by them because everyone started catching fire because it's a wacky, crazy world like that. And uh, he came across Aya, brought her back to this place. Um, yeah, now she's discussing the fact that everyone melted as opposed to caught fire this time. Yes. Into LCL. Is, it is LCL. It's orange. Come on, Evie. It's LCL. Primordial soup. That's how it works. That's precisely how it works. I'm very sorry if I've just spoiled Evangelion for some people, but they do say, I'm pretty sure, early on, that that's exactly what it is. So, yeah. Hey, give us the details on the song. The music's back. I forget how silent this game is. Mm. <laughs> There's a lot of quiet points in it. It all started with the scientist's wife. Now, this is the plot of this. It all started when a scientist's wife was involved in a car accident. Chapter 1. The scientist tried to culture her liver cells in order to keep her alive. By the way, spoilers from the book Parasite Eve. <laughs> Scientists named these cells Eve. Eve? Is, that hasn't been... Metal Gear? Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Snake, you've done this twice. Shut up. Which one are you talking about? <laughs> Metal Gear Solid? Because, yeah. Yeah. Three times by that point, technically. Three? Metal Gear, Metal Gear 2, Two. and Metal Gear Solid Snake. If you want to count that one. I don't, I tend to go for Metal Gear, Metal Gear 2, and then Metal Gear Solid for the PS1. Played Solid State? I haven't. The liver cells multiplied and her mitochondria eventually took over her physical body and minor distraction. It was mildly relevant in a thematic context. After acquiring the scientist's sperm, Eve tried to give birth to an ultimate being. Ultimate being, ultimate being. She, uh, she she, the being who mutated the liver cells, couldn't maintain the body weight. Again, kind of spoilers. Book is really good. People go out read it. I'm holding it in my hands right now. It's available in English. By the way, before the car accident occurred, the wife had registered to have her organs donated. Again, part of the plot of the book, but relevant for what's going on. So after the accident, her kidneys were transplanted into a young girl. In the book, not not the game. Before you start going, oh. And Eve implanted a, fertil a fertilized egg in the young girl who gave birth to the ultimate being. I was extremely interested in this and went to the lab to sort that and it could continue research. Because that's Scottish. <laughs> After hearing about this incident, I fly over here. So basically, he's just like, hey, that was interesting. I want to go see what these crazy people have been up to with this crazy ultimate being nonsense. Oh, look, something very similar is happening in America right now. I wonder why. I'm going to go check it out. I have no idea how he managed to get to Japan in the span of, well, this is barely 24 hours after the first part. Because, like, what is it? It began at the opera. Let's, mm. let's assume let's assume at a very generous level that the opera started at 7 p.m. Usually operas tend to start at 8 or 9 or whatever, but let's assume it started at 7. That means that that would have actually been, what, Japan is... 13 hours ahead of the west of the eastern border of the United States. Uh -huh. So, 
somehow he heard about something happening less than 24 hours ago and managed to get from Japan to America and get to the centre of everything. I don't know why I'm pointing out this plot hole. It just suddenly occurred to me and I felt... You know when you find a thread in a t-shirt or a jumper and you just have to pull it and it all starts falling apart? <laughs> That's what just happened. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, read Parasite Eve. It's by Hideaki Sena. This book apparently costs thirteen dollars ninety five cents in the US, fifteen ninety five in Canada. Doesn't have the English price, but I know I definitely didn't pay it. It's for like ten pounds or eleven pounds. It's a good book. Anyway, back to the game. He's yeah, having a bit yeah. of a freak out now because she because she thinks she might be fucked up. I am. Um, I don't know what the what is wrong with her. Okay, so um been revealed that she's got a part. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so I is not from New York, as has been mentioned peripherally, in fairness. Um, she may or may not have uh, received a cornea transplant from a, uh, a certain person in this book. And as a result, obviously has part of the mitri mitochondrial Eve within her, but has been able to resist the majority of the takeover. She's just in instead able to channel it to her own ends. Rather than it just warping her body out of control like it has with Eve, it's granted her the ability to cast heal spells and barriers and detox. Slow and slow, yes. And there's going to be other interesting ones later on too. In fact, there's a really cool one later on. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so she doesn't want to kill Daniel, who is obviously just sort of a puppet actor right now. Because, yeah, he, he's quite focused on making sure that I is okay. Yet his own son has just been rendered, has just lost the arm of his parents. Admittedly not the one he lived with. So I suppose it's not really a massive change of pace, but... I don't know. I mean, it sucks, don't get me wrong, no, I but... <laughs> I mean, like... It's not going to be disruptive to his, like, school schedule or something, is it? At least not as disruptive as the entirety of New York being evacuated because a primordial monster is going around setting people on fire and turning them into whole cubes. Ooh, could be Maya. Maya. Died in a car crash with Mom. Does that not answer that question? Twin sister. Or a twin sister. Yes. Because sometimes when you name your children, you just want to take one letter away. And um, there's the end of day two. That's a, that, that, that is a Wait. good question, Maeda. That is a very good question yeah. right now.